Hello, Chop. This is part two. We had a little bug in the last video. For some reason, this new 2D tag will only work if it's up here. This is quite weird. Save it and look. That's how it should be. If you know why that happens, leave me a comment or a message. So, that's the fix. Now let's continue. you. This is how our page looks. The belts are there. Our titles are there. But they don't go nowhere. So remember we called it file.php, the page, the receiver page. So let's make that file. File.php. Open some PHP tags. First thing we need to do is get what the ID is from the address bar. So we're going to connect to our database. I'm just going to copy this from our previous file. And let's write a query. Select all from articles where ID equals ID. Let's prepare this query. Bind value get ID execute. What the? Alright, let's make a quick check. Even though it's an example, we'll do it anyway. If statement row count is zero, that means there was no article in the database. Story, nothing. Okay. So now, we need to fetch this data. If it's gone this far, that means it hasn't died. So there's something. So let's fetch the data. Fetch. Now, let's set some variables so we don't lose this fetch data. Let's say score or rating. Remember we said to calculate it, you take vote up minus vote down. Let's also get the title. Okay. So now, what the fuck? Let's do a little display. What the hell? Let's do a little displaying, shall we? Break out of your PHP. Let's just make a something like this. Now playing the quote. Now playing and then we'll echo point O. Save it and I'll say well if this works. Oops. So the lower the rang. Now playing the lower the rang. The call folder plays. Broke back my own plays. Cool. If we change this to like five, which doesn't exist, nothing. Okay. Cool. We cool. So now that we have this title, we need to go back to our PHP more even. We need to make another table. So create table. Say boats. This table is gonna hold the votes associated to whichever IP voted on it. So in this example, we'll be using IP address instead of, say, like a user system, a register system. So you can easily adapt it to a username system, but I'm just showing you the IP way. Okay, so let's get started on that one.
Always need an ID. Always. Make your big ID. Index primary. I'll learn it. Tutorials votes. Alright. Now I had two more columns. So like I said, we need to draw the IP. Uh, make it since all periods in it, put it both char. And 39 will hold most IP addresses. Actually it'll hold all of them. And then make a call um the second column will be called tags. You'll uh, understand why in a little bit, but for now just follow along. Tags make it a text column. Hit save. Alright. Fair enough. Go back to well, go back to here. So here we need to display the score right on the page. So let's do that. Let's make a break. You know what? Let's make an actual HTML page first. Just to be proper. Now, score. Open up some PHP types. Echo score. I say if there's work. Fresh score zero. Alright. Now, in the link to this description, well, let me back up here. How will a user vote on this button? Or on this number? Or on this article, I mean. <laughs> I like to use visual ways, like buttons. I have these buttons and you could download them in the description of this video. They are simple buttons. This is vote down. This is vote up. And when a user has already voted on one and they're visiting the page, it will be orange. Like that. So like I said, you could download these in the description of this video. Or you can make your own. Alright. So. Come. <laughs> come come back here to your text editor. Let's do something crazy actually. Erase this. Uh boy, actually. <laughs> yeah, erase that. Erase that mofo. Make a span. Give it an ID. Call it vote buttons since they are going to be buttons. Style display inline block. This is so we can stack the images on each other, the arrows. You'll see what I mean in a bit. Uh, margin left. Well, yeah, let's do that. Margin left. Zero pixels auto. This will set up it. Oh. This will set at it. Trust me on this one. Now, do I? Sorry. Image, source, boat, app dot jpeg. Break. God damn it. Boat down dot jpeg save it let's come back to foil now i don't have those here images so i need to actually copy them to my folder uh, <laughs> come oh oh you don't say that i know you're not seeing what i'm doing right now but i'm copying all these images to my work folder Okay, so now come back here to your browser. So those are the arrows. That's how it will look. Um, obviously you can format this text to match the size of these buttons or whatever. Just showing you for this example. 
So once you have that, close this hair span, and you'll see why use this span in a second. Now we're going to say sp another span. ID, this will be the score. This is going to be so we can line it up next to these ones. So ID score, style this bitch, vertical line, well, take that back. Display, this also should be an inline block. Close the span. Open up some PHP tags. I'll just copy these. Let's echo the score. Now come back to your browser, and there's the score. Actually, let's see here. Font family. Probably just don't need this, but it's just for looks. <laughs> All right, quit screwing around. So now we have these pages. Right? It says score. That's the rating, but they don't do nothing. It's just dead buttons, and the score doesn't change. Right? Well, we're gonna figure out how to do that in part 3